today, while I'm enjoying my strawberries, watermelon, Moscato, slushy, I'm mixing up a cheesy beef like that. I've already seasoned it and I've already added in my peppers, my onions, and my seasonings, my standby seasonings, of course. Delicious. By the way, the link to this recipe is down below, so check it out. Okay, so I'm going to put my treat down. It's delicious, but I have to finish cooking. I'm going to put in a half a teaspoon of crushed garlic. And then, although this looks like this should go be poured down the sink, poured down the sink, it shouldn't. This is actually extra flavor for your dish. Never throw it away. After this, I'll recycle my, my glass. So pour this in with your ground beef. This really does make a delicious flavor. Oh my gosh, you should smell that. It smells really delicious. And it also helps to deglaze the pan. The pan. <laughs> okay. Okay, that really smells really delicious. Okay, now we're going to get our flatbreads ready and top each of them with the ground beef mixture. So I'm going to turn this off and we'll be right back. Okay. Now, what, what I'm going to do is spray my flatbread with olive oil so that they absorb more of the meat and they're going to be juicy. Instead of, I don't want them crispy, but I do want them to um, adhere to the, um, the ground beef. So let's go ahead and start stacking these with this delicious flavored um, ground beef. We're gonna put some here. You might want to call this a pizza, but it's not. It's more like a, a tapas, that something you would have at a tapas bar. And we're going to just layer these uh, individually so that your guests or your family can just pick them up and, and, and eat them. Now you can put different cheeses you can experiment and put different cheeses or different types of toppings on it. And um, and it's basically up to you. It's whatever flavors you like that I would suggest that you try. Okay. So we're gonna finish and you see. This can feed around four people. I'll try to make this even. Even it out a bit. Now we're going to start building our toppings. So, just like everything, I always have fresh ingredients out. I have some diced green, red pepper, some green pepper, and some red onion, some mozzarella cheese, some shredded Mexican cheese, and some jalapenos. So what we're going to do is start out first with the mozzarella cheese. We don't need too many because this is a really thick little layer of ground beef, so we're going to be adding the, adding the shredded cheese at the top, so we're just not going to lay it, lay it down with too much mozzarella cheese. Let's share the cheese. This is going to be mine. I only eat mozzarella cheese, so mine can be heavy with mozzarella cheese. All right. Okay, now we're going to layer it up with the Mexican mixture. This is really going to be delicious. Okay, and now we're going to add on just a sprig or two of the green pepper. And the green and the red onion. 
You don't have to add much just to give a little extra flavor because they're not going to stay in the oven long and we just want to have that, that fresh taste on top. Then last, we're going to use the red. And these, the red is mainly for decoration. You always have to have, add a little decoration when you're cooking. Okay. Like what we do here, I just put mozzarella cheese. You can put whatever cheese you like. Colby, uh, uh, any type of spicy cheeses. You can do a smoked, a gouda, or what have you. But this is what I'm using today for our little meal. So I'm topping it off right now with the jalapenos. Just for that extra little, and guess what? There's that little juice, the jalapeno juice. Here we go. So we're gonna put this in the oven for around 10 minutes on 375 and we'll take it out and, and we'll serve it. All right, they're ready. Doesn't that look delicious? Okay, we're going to plate these up. Before I do that, I'd like to tell you about this sauce. It's a creamy feta sauce. It's uh, cucumbers and onion, and I make my own ranch dressing, and it also has feta cheese in it. So it's almost like a tzatziki sauce, and as a matter of fact, this is almost like a gyro. So the combination of this, along with the garden salad that I've already prepared, is going to be a blast together. So let me go ahead and plate this up. Oh, that looks delicious. Look how juicy. Oh my goodness, delish. Here we go, we're gonna put two on there. And we're going to serve the garden salad also. Should have put my garden, my salad tongs out. I'll remember that next time. Okay, there we go. Okay. All right, and then we're going to just add the feta cheese sauce on here. But guess what? We like to put it on both. And it's so fresh, so delicious. Those diced cucumbers really make it give it that extra um, freshness. Okay, so here we go. And I'm going to taste this, even though I don't eat cheddar cheese, but I'll eat this because it looks really delicious. So I'm going to cut a piece off. And since you can't taste it, I'm going to taste it for you. Along with the salad. Cheers. Mmm. Oh my God. It's delicious. The feta cheese with the beef and the onion and the cheese. I think I'm being converted to become a cheddar cheese lover. This is delicious. I hope you get a chance to make it. I'm going to put the recipe below. Thanks for stopping by. Oh my gosh, I've used a fork and, and a knife before, but guess what, they're so good that I have to put my little hands in it. Oh my goodness. Mmm, 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 mmm. Delicious. Cheers.